Hello, I'm Ryan. My name's Sarah. My name's Brendan. Hey, what's up? This is Rory from Nova Rose. Hi, this is Matthew from Event Santa Cruz, and this is episode number three. Okay, let's go back from the beginning. The very, let's, let's find out. Now, I think that Ryan and Rory, you guys kind of started a band together at one point. What was that? Uh, we started Urban Theory back in the uh, beginning of summer 2011. The, okay. It's the start of this story. So you started Urban Theory, which is still a band right now. Yeah. You guys, you guys are still playing. You've had a new album out recently. What kind of music is Urban Theory? Uh, it's like alternative indie rock. The, okay. Some blues influence. And you have a couple other people on the band? Yeah, yeah. We're, that? we're five piece, so we've got Christian Michelak on lead guitar, as well as Evan uh, Carter on synthesizers and keyboards, piano, and Alex Brew on bass and backup vocals. Okay, and now I've got you actually have another side project, which you guys kind of seem like you guys all have side projects. Rory is, I think, in about 100 different bands. But, At least, maybe 200. Maybe but this try. is Nova Rose, uh -huh. and how did Nova Rose start? Sarah, I'm going to hand that off to Sarah. Okay. Um, well, I... Oh, okay, I started playing, like, I started playing in front of people probably around 16. Okay. And that's when I started to, like, reach out to different... Because I, want, I wanted... At first, I didn't know if I wanted to have a band. I knew I wanted to have people, like, playing behind me, but I didn't know if I wanted to be a part of a band. Because you're a solo artist yeah. on the side. Yeah. Yeah, and I wasn't sure if I was wanted to just do solo and have a backup band or be have a band with a name or whatever so anyway I was uh, I had known Ryan from high school we went to Scotts Valley High together my freshman year his sophomore year we had math together and so I hit him up that was three years ago right no that no, was so <laughs> no I was wish call like five years yeah. ago like 20 years ago <laughs> um, and I hit him up on Facebook and I was like hey do you want to jam? And he was like, yeah. And I was like all intimidated because I was like, this guy is like, because I'd never played with people before. I, well, I had done a demo before and I had studio musicians, but I'd never like written with people. Anyway. So that was, you just wanted to jam, you just wanted to play. You yeah, just like, I just wanted I just want, to play with people. I think it's a good guitar player. Let's. Yeah, I wasn't play. really looking for a band. I, I mean, I was, but not really like actively. I was kind of just. And that is until it. she heard me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the worst and then, end of it. So and then they invited me over to the Rory's house, this place, and um, I brought my keyboard over, and um, we I just played some of my original songs, and we all jammed, and Rory was there, and actually Alex uh, uh, Brew was our first bass player, and then it just something happened there, and we liked it. So. So that was around the time you guys played at the Nexties. Or was that before? That was yeah. That was like probably a couple months, I believe, before. And then no, it was like a month. Maybe a month really, or two. Really, yeah. you, know, you didn't have too many practices. Yeah. Okay. That. And then yeah, and then you were like, oh, I want to have this thing, you know. I and then I was like, okay, and so I hit them up and. And it worked. Yeah. yeah. And then it just led on to more. Shows. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Here. And then so, you got another bass player, Brandon. How did Brendan. you, Brendan? Brendan. Yeah. I keep saying Brandon. Sorry, okay. Brendan. <laughs> Brendan. Brendan. Got. How did you get in the picture and? I heard you don't even know how to, you didn't know how to play bass until... Well, <laughs> I, before them, I was playing with my brother's band for bass. I, they were called uh, Summit, and we played at Don Quixote's one time. Okay. Kind I of fun. that show. But that, that was like the only show we ever played. <laughs> but it was really fun, and I kind of picked up bass then. Prior to bass, I've been playing guitar for a long time, since I was like 14. Uh, piano as well, and I, I'm pretty into drums too, but uh, I really like bass. It's just kind of, it's not so much backup to me as it is like... It's this filling the mood, you know, it's really deep, but I could go on about it. So <laughs> you learned how to play bass, like when they asked you, like, hey, we need a bass player. You're like, okay, I could learn how to play. Well, I had, he had been I have played, played before them. like a year before. Yeah, them. okay. Yeah. We, jammed, so, we jammed with them a few times and we were just like, hey, this guy's good. Yes. And you guys like, already kind of knew him. You guys are yeah, friends. Yeah, friends. It was, we took drama class. Actually, okay. Sarah yeah, asked school, me to play right? keyboard I, to start. It was start. at first. Yeah. It was keyboards at first. And then we, um, one of our bass players, we've had so many bass players. One of them, well, not It's so always many. the Three. bass player. We've had, we've had four. Three. No, three. 
Nathan, oh. AJ, We had a cellist. A cellist. <laughs> slash bassist okay. for a while. He, he played our bass for he, Anyway. He was, yeah. Brendan was after Nathan Scarborough was one of our bass okay. players, which he moved to Washington. He's from so. he's from Washington. Maybe anyway, from, yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then we were like, hey, we need a bass player now. Brendan, and Brendan was like, well, I, I kind of know how to play bass. <laughs> like, I'll just figure it out. And it was more like, it was, I don't know, I feel like it was more about how we clicked. Look at that Personally. face, too. He is a trap. Can we just get oh, a close-up? Okay. <laughs> Look at that face. Stop. <laughs> then, yeah, it was more, because I, because you need to be able to, you, I mean, you have to get along with somebody before you can play, even if they're great at Ooh. what they play. There's you a lot of dynamics. It's like joining a family. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's almost like how, like, fellow employees get along with, like, their employer, also their yeah. fellow employees, you know? There's a dynamic to it. Because and also the, the, the hope is that as I mean, when you're making a band is that eventually you'll become very successful, you'll be touring, you'll be together all the time, and if you know, we didn't like that guy, right. it would not like, be enjoyable. And I'm confident that <laughs> the we fact could that all we haven't eaten each together. other's heads if off is yeah, a good yeah. sign. Yeah. I would say so. So what is I like, since to you are an urban theory, what is the different I guess how do you describe Nova Rose music? compared to urban theory it's a lot more moody. at times moody dark okay you know? okay i don't like so that so that's sarah bringing like a lot of influence to to the moodiness yeah oh yeah you hear and the lyrics you dark you write, soul you yeah. you write the lyrics dark you soul I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh gosh your yeah. music is kind of some people no, would say it's kind I'm of dark it's, yeah. okay. it's true it's a little more what i like to tell people is it's a little more heavy you know because we do have songs that are happy you know and yeah. melancholy but we our songs are generally a little bit more not loud, but a little more heavy and kind of grungy. Okay. Yeah, Urban Theory is a little bit more poppy and kind of dancey, where this is more like you feel it and you kind of you sit back and you marinate. Marinate. It's a good word. It's marinating yeah. music. Yeah, and I don't like to label it as <laughs> like dark I, music. If I put it on the radio, like, I would really enjoy it. I'd be like, huh, like this is this is nice. This is yeah. like fresh. This isn't yeah. compared to Urban Theory of, as to Weezer as Nova Rose as. To smashing pumpkins, if that makes any sense. Tweet that. Like, like that, yeah, that hashtag. That's <laughs> a comparison I can give. You yeah. could, like, if you wanted to relate us to like bands. I don't know if that's. I'm a good just talking idea. about '90s, by yeah. the way. But like, you know. I don't know, like Evanescence, like. Okay. You know. Xanadu. Like <laughs> obviously Fiona Apple. Are you talking about uh, leaving you and John Xanadu? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a it's a quote from the Great Beck. Okay. <laughs> What does that have to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about that since you mentioned Beck, which is one of my favorites. He's from my hometown. Um, what are some of your influences? Main Start influences. off with, with Ryan. Uh, for me, I've, I mean, my roots uh, lead to like the Beatles and anything from like the 50s. So okay. like uh, Ray Charles, a lot of soul stuff. Ray Charles, Otis Redding, things like that. But when it comes to modern day, I started playing guitar and writing music when I started listening to like John Mayer. Okay. Especially his blues stuff, She's John Mayer, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimmy, stuff like that. How about you, Sarah? Um, well, I grew up listening to like my parents' music, which is like Pink Floyd, Pearl Jam, like, The Doors, okay. um, you know, all the good stuff. The Beatles, obviously, my mom loved The Beatles. Um, and then, and I've been writing for since I was really young, but when I really started getting serious about it, was I was like 14, uh, Portishead was actually my first influence. <laughs> And um, and then someone told me, you know, you sound like Fiona Apple, and I was like, I like Fiona Apple now that I've heard her, you know, and yeah. Okay, how about you, Roy? Oh man, I'm all over the place, but uh, definitely Johnny Cash, yes. um, <laughs> like man. The Clash, The Ramones, uh, Social Distortion, Green Basically Day. Basically anybody that wears black. Green Day. <laughs> I, I, I owe a lot to Green Day actually, yeah. um, just because they like that. I got to play with them on stage. Oh, really? Um, in front of nineteen thousand people <laughs> once. Wow! Um, because I went to their show and they they pulled me up to play with them because I I took a sign and said I know how to play a song, <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, that was pretty much the night that made me realize what I want to do for the rest of my life. So we owe a lot to him, yeah. owing a lot to Green Day. <laughs> Thank you, Green Day. Yeah. Actually, I saw a video of Green Day playing um, at their high school. Just, oh, putting all the high school. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that recently. It's like a forty-five minute concert. It's a trip. Did. It's a trip because you, if you watch that and then you watch like them from like you know recently, it's just it's like whoa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Okay, right. your turn. Who's um, your influences? I guess you could just say like being from the '90s, early like grunge, Stone Temple Pilots, Alice in Chains, and Nirvana for sure. But um, that was just being a kid, and that's what I was like being raised with. But recently, I've been like, I like really synthesized sound. I really like um, just like electronic music, dance music can be really good, but the right kind, not just like mainstream. Pop. You're very eclectic, Brendan. Yes. <laughs> Wait, so you say in the 90s. How old were you in the 90s? Uh, I was born in 92. Okay. So I, I was... graduated in 92. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But being like a baby and like listening to that, it's like, it's like ingrained in your yeah. like brain. Yeah. It just kind of lives there. Okay, so I want to know, what since you guys have been playing around town, what are some of your favorite venues? Yeah, the to play? Yeah, yeah, definitely the great place. place. We were talking about that earlier. I like the Catalyst a lot. Um, I've played both Atrium and Main Stage. Definitely Main Stage mm -hmm. is a lot more fun, more uh, official. But um, yeah, Mo's Alley is pretty cool yeah. too. I've only played there once though. How about you, Sarah? Um, definitely the great place. I like. I really like playing house shows okay. because good point. Uh, yeah. The Paul Suite is really fun. Show you didn't say that. What are no, you talking I didn't about? Say that. What? what? Is that a weird thing to say? Yeah, no, we love playing never. Never. Shows <laughs> before. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, How about Rory? Oh, uh, I love house shows. It's probably the, the best thing going on in this town. Okay. Uh, yeah, everything that Ryan said. There used to be a really cool venue called the Chai Cart mm. downtown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh, Ooh, Goodwill, nice. and I wish that was still days. around. Uh, I that may still be coming back in a different location, mm. but. How about you? Okay. Uh, what, just house shows in general? Oh, no, just shows. Like, what, what are some of the venues you like to play? Oh, um, definitely like, like bars are <laughs> really yeah. fun just because yeah. we get free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. are over 21, right? Yeah. I'm, just to clarify that. I'm okay. 23. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, what's, the, what's the plan? What's the trajectory? What's the, do you guys have a plan or are yeah. you just like, yeah. see what happens? Um, well, we really want to make an album. We're, We're ready EP. to make an album. Oh, okay. Not only do we, we have... Want to way too many songs okay. um, and it's just finding the right people to do it with. Um, finding like the producers, engineers, that Thank you. 